In today's 5-minute training video, I'm going to be talking more about managing your Outlook contacts. In the previous video, I showed you three different ways to add contacts. Manually, using the right mouse click option, and dragging and dropping. Today I'm going to show you how to import your contacts from a file, as well as how to back up your contacts. Now for my demonstration today, I'll be using Outlook 2007, but you'll find that this will work in other versions of Outlook as well. Now the first question you may have is when you might use this. Well, there are several different uses. This method is great when you have a lot of contacts at one time to create. Another great use is to be able to back up all of your contacts for safekeeping. You'll also find this will come in very handy the next time you're changing jobs. I can't tell you how many new employees I've trained that would have loved to have retained all of their contacts from their last job but didn't know how to go about doing it. This is also the way you would import your contacts from another email system like Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, etc. Most email systems have a way for you to export your contacts to a file and then you would use that file to import them into Outlook. For our demonstration today, I'm going to be using Excel. As you can see here, I've created a list of contacts that I'll be using to import. The key here is to create your column heading as I've done here to include name, company, title, email address, etc. This is how Outlook will know which field belongs where when it's imported. Now once you've finished creating your file as I've done here, you'll want to save it in a format called comma separated value or CSV and that's very easy to do. To do that simply go to file, select save as, we need to create a name for our file as file type down below here, you want to click the down arrow and navigate to the proper format, which is right here. You'll see it says CSV comma delimited. Select that and it changes the name of our file right here to context.csv. That's exactly what you want. So click save. Now a couple of pop-ups will come up. This, this talks about the formatting of this file. We really don't care about that right now, so you can ignore those and click OK. And on this one, just go ahead and click yes and continue. So we've saved our file, we now need to close it, switch over to Outlook so we can import this. So go ahead and sit, click file and close. We've already saved the file so you can disregard this, click no. And now switch over to Outlook. From within Outlook, the next step to import this, you simply go to file, import and export. The default is fine. It's already selected import from another file or program. That's what we want. So click next. We need to select the file type. We just saved that file as a comma separated value. Select the third one from the top. We want the one that says Windows. Click next. Now we need to browse out to where we saved our file. Here's the file we just created called contacts.csv. Click OK. You have several different options when you're working with importing. Uh, I'll go ahead and select the default. Click Next. Now we started our import from the inbox. So we need to scroll up and select the contacts folders where you want to import these files. And click Next and we're ready. This is all we need to import our file. So click finish and all those contacts will be imported. So now if we jump over to our contacts, you'll see all those contacts were just created from our spreadsheet. It's just that easy. Next I want to show you how you can export all of your contacts to a file using the same process. So you go up to file, again drop down to import and export, now this time we're exporting to a file, so you want the option second to the top there, export to a file, click on next. Again, we want the same file format, which is comma separated values windows. Click on next. Again, we're exporting our contacts, so you highlight the contacts folder, click next. And now we need to name our file and choose where we want to save it. So we've already have the contacts here. That's the one we just imported from. So I'm going to name this one Contact Backup. Click OK. And click Next. 
and we're ready to export our contacts so click finish and all of our contacts have now been export, exported to that file. If we open that file, you'll see that's, this is what the file looks like. Here's all of our contacts in a nice spreadsheet that you can use for backup or again importing it to another email system. And that concludes today's 5-minute training video. I hope you found this information helpful. I'll be continually adding more training videos to my website, so be sure to check back here often. In my upcoming series, I'm going to be talking about how you can use Outlook as a time management tool. I'll also be giving you more tips and shortcuts for using the Outlook calendar and how you can stay organized using colors and prioritizing your task. Thanks for watching.